It's tonight's the night. Hey everybody, I'm here with Corporal Charles Rising and K9 Max. Thanks for being on the show. Nice to be here. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little excited. Well, that's all right. A little excited, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. So, uh, first off, how have you been, uh, how long have you been serving at uh, UCF? December 1st, I'll be here 10 years. Nice. Oh, wow, 10 yep. years. So, 10 you know years. the. You know UCF in and out, don't yes, you? Yes, pretty much, yes. So um, what does your, your title mean? Uh, I'm a corporal, uh, and I'm the canine supervisor. Uh, corporal is a rank just above patrol officer and just below sergeant. Okay, the two stripes, that's what corporal means. Uh, I'm the canine supervisor, canine trainer here on campus. Um, so we have four teams here on campus. I'm responsible for all that training. A lot of dogs? It's not a lot, but no? it's, it's a good, good amount. Yeah, for college how, how campus. How many dogs do you uh, do you have uh, control or like uh, you look over? On campus here, we have four. Mm -hmm. We have four dogs. Just four dogs? Campus. Okay, yeah. four, four yeah. departments, four dogs. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, can I mean, you it's one department, but it's four dog teams. Oh, the four UCF dog teams. UCF Police Department, K9 unit. Yeah, one department, but we have four dog teams. So yeah. Could you introduce us to to, to your friend here, a colleague? Is, I should this say. This is Canine right. Max. Max is a almost nine year old German Shepherd. Okay. Um, Max was bred in Germany. Um, and brought oh, wow. over here by a vendor that's over in New Smyrna Beach. He goes over there and imports dogs. I've had him since he was 17 months old. So oh, wow. So you've been, seven uh, years, you've been working together years. for a while. That's yep. awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, so it, is, that, is that usually where the dogs come from? Yeah, they usually No, I mean, I mean, German Shepherds are one of the most popular breeds, so, I mean, they're bred all over, you know, right. even in the United States. But the better bloodlines come from Europe because that's where the dogs were developed, you know, like 100, 130 years ago, yeah, yeah. whatever. So, um, so we tend to go what we get them from over there. Okay, yeah. so it's it's so, typical that you get them from overseas yeah, and bring yeah, them over. Yeah, and, and most them. departments do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What, what's what's the what's the training like for uh, for, for for getting this dog ready for uh, for duty? Uh, each state is different, but in the state of Florida, uh, a new handler now, a new dog team, minimum of 480 hours. Wow. Okay, so that and, and I'm a canine trainer, so I've done nine dog teams already. Uh, that encompasses you know tracking, obedience, you know bite work. You know, building searches, article searches, area searches. Um, you know, we do get them used to gunfire in case that situa situation ever comes up, so they don't freak out when they hear it. Um, and if if the team needs more, they can. You know, we can go over the 480. But when that team does is ready, when they do get their 480 and they're ready to certify, we have two people that call evaluators from different agencies come in. And there's like five pages of tests that the team has to do. And it's really not a lot, but there's just a lot of stuff that the evaluators have to check off. The big thing is obedience. And we do do gunfire. You know, mm -hmm. we crack a few rounds off. And, uh, I mean, we use starter pistols, obviously, here on campus. We're not going to use real ammo. But right. um, then there's building searches they have to do. There's area searches that they have to do. Bite work they have to do. Uh, uh, which encompasses like sending the dog on a, and somebody will have this, like the, the video you have. The yeah, we, we captured some something uh, some earlier today. Yeah, so the, somebody uh, will work. be wearing that, and you have the dog. They have to take off running, and the dog has to stay. Uh -oh. Okay, he doesn't go until you tell him to go. Okay, and then you send him, and then you have to recall him. So he gets. And oh, that, I mean, that's yeah. not that's not on that video. That's just the dog going down, attacking somebody right. wearing the bite suit, which was me. Oh, today. that was you. Yeah, that's, that's, you me. that's me in the bite suit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we send them, they get to like 50 feet, they have to recall a dog, he has to come back to you, okay, and once he comes back, you know, then you send them for the apprehension, sort of like that right there. Okay, the dog goes down, makes the apprehension, from like 50 feet away, you have to out him and recall him back to you. So you have to tell him to let go and come back, okay. So it's hard to do for some of these dogs, the very prey-driven dogs, hey, I found this guy, I ran after him, I knocked him down, yeah. I don't want to let go. <laughs> some dogs are like that. Yeah, um, yeah. How, how's Max do with that usually? Is he well, like, initially when we first got him, he didn't want to do it. Like I said, he's a very prey dermot. He's a very alpha male dog. He doesn't want to, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. me coming along giving him commands. He didn't like that. But uh, <laughs> as time has gone by, I mean, he's much. He's 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 all right with it now. He's fine with Started it now. Started out pretty so, independent though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and that's the kind of dog we want. We want a dog that's very, you know, alpha dog really? that'll go out nice. and you yeah. know, and not be afraid of other animals and stuff. That and, is interesting. Because yeah. usually you'd think it would probably be one that would be more, you know, because obedience is a factor. But yeah. I guess it, it, it's equally important for them. to Well, be he's good. he's got to understand that in this pack, uh -huh. I'm the alpha. You're the alpha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When I go home with him, <laughs> okay, everybody in that house is above him. Okay, he's just part of the pack. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when you get him out with the shepherds and get him together, okay, he's the alpha male in that pack. Okay, but you know some dogs when you put a you know collar on them, you start giving them commands, yeah. you know, and he don't want to do it. He's an alpha dog. I mean, sometimes they'll turn on you. 
So, so when I was training with him, I got bit three times. Oh, really? Okay, and that's just when you're a canine handler. I mean, you're gonna get bit. That's just part. That's part of the job, um, especially during training because you give the dog commands. He doesn't listen. You give a little correction, stuff uh -huh. like that, and they're like, you know, I don't want to listen to this guy. I don't want him, you know, correcting me. So, yeah. and they'll come up and they'll give you a nip. And, Oh yeah, and, well, uh, so and he so bit I, you three times. How many yeah. times have you been bit total? Um, from the from the different dog teams yeah. that I've trained, and and before I came here, I was with OPD. I retired from there, and the I know I don't know, 10, 11, 12 times. It's yeah. You're used to it though. Yeah, yeah and, and, <laughs> and, and really, I mean, the first time I was like, ah, it hurts, but that's the way you get used to it. And it's and, and I don't want to get dog bit, mm. you know, but I mean, it does hurt, but yeah. it, it you know. Now, does, does Max have a specialization? Is it, you, they, they do, or is he a jack of all trades? Is he? Because uh, you didn't say he went well, to he, He's what we call a full service dog, mm -hmm. um, uh, a utility dog, which means he does, like I said, in the training, mm -hmm. tracking, obedience is the big thing. You don't do anything until you get the obedience down pat. Okay. If, once he sits and heals and downs for you, then you go off and you start doing the bite work and the building searches and everything else. So. Um, so he does like 10, 10, 11 different things. Like I said, building searches, area searches, article searches. Um, uh, tracking, criminal apprehension, you know, you have to send him on a bad guy, he'll go and do that, you know, that little video yeah. kind of showed I was the bad guy if I was wearing the bite suit, what mm -hmm. he can do. Um, has you know, he been in any, like, real life action? Any, has he taken any? Yeah, on I mean, on the college campus, you don't get a lot of that. Right. I yeah. mean, um, you know, when I, was with I the when I was with the city, <laughs> I mean, we did that every week, but here on campus, I mean, uh, we've had three catches with him, two are off campus for other agencies. We have mutual aid for all these agencies that's around the campus, so uh, they can help us, and we can go help them. Okay, if their canines are not working, we can go out and help them, like mm -hmm. Seminole, Orange, OPD. I mean, all the agencies locally. Um, the big thing from campus with him, it's it was three years ago during a football game. Um, I don't know if you were on campus then, three years ago. Three years ago, I actually yeah. was. Okay. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see this happen. It was like halftime during a football game um, down by Wayne Dent Street. Uh -huh. the, uh, the, well, actually, in the softball field where we were today. Um, there's an old guy he's watching a lot. Okay, some some guy got kicked out of the stadium because he was high or drunk or whatever. Oh, Went nice. over there, punched the old man in the face, pulled him out of the car, threw him on the ground, took over the guy's car. So he st so that's carjacking. Yeah. Okay, you don't need to have a weapon for carjacking. <laughs> You're taking a vehicle by force. Yeah. And that's what he did. But now the college at these football games, how many cops you got working? We got like 130 cops. So somebody yelled, and there's like a motor cop, like you know, 100 feet away. He just stole that car. So he started to go after him. The guy freaked out, jumped out of the car, kind of slowed down and hit a tree and Ooh. ran to the woods. Oh, he's okay, and this is nine o'clock at night in October. Okay, so it's dark out already. Yeah. So, I just picked him up from the kennel we have at the PD. Um, I was driving over there. Okay, this is where I last. I'll make this real quick. And this is where we last saw him going to the woods, which is what the cops should do. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I put his nose on the ground, gained the command. He picked up the scent. Okay. We tracked for maybe ten or fifteen minutes. Uh, while we were doing that, I had Orange County's helicopter respond because of it, it, it's helicopters big, too. Wow. You know where the arboretum is behind softball. Yeah. If you know where those all these sandy trails are back there. So we were going through there, and as we were tracking, I, call, I told him, I says, look, I says, I'm going to give him a rest. He's just, you know, we come to this intersection. Um, he's shown a lot of interest, but I'm going to let him cool off for just a second. You know, and they have the heat system in the helicopter. You know, they can see body heat, you know, the floor system. And the guy in the helicopter, he goes, he goes, he's 20 feet to your left in the woods laying down. So, so he did wow. pretty good. Yeah, that's so awesome. we So yeah. we snuck in there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, we don't want the light on directly. We don't uh -huh. want to you know, light ourselves up for safety reasons. So we snuck over to where he was at, and he was kind of behind a bush, and the guy was laying on the ground. He covered himself with palm fronds. Oh, really? Yeah. Trying to, okay. Yeah. That's not so, going to work for him. No. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a carjacking, so I gave the verbal warning. I had two deputies with me, and they were both canine from Orange County, but they are just working overtime in the football game. Uh -huh. And I said, you know, this is going to be his first bite. We'll see how he does. Okay, so um, gave the warning. The guy didn't respond. Carjacking. We don't know if he had a weapon, but still he's taking a vehicle by force. You know, he's not, he's not, Obeying my commands, there's certain mm. criteria we have to go by before we can release a dog to make an apprehension. Okay, so we met the criteria. I, I gave him the command. I just whispered to him. I gave him the command. He jumped over the bush and grabbed the guy's leg and the calf right here, and and wow. nothing. The guy's still laying there. So really? I'm going. So I'm going to these deputies. Oh I my says, gosh. I says his, <laughs> I says, you know, it's his first bite. It might be might not be very strong. Yeah. Sometimes when they actually get to bite a real person for the yeah. first time, you know, it's different than biting, you know, the suit, bite suit you right. saw in the video. Yeah. So. But it turned out that the guy was very intoxicated, and it took about 30 seconds for the pain it's to wake him pain. up. Oh, wow. Okay, and his bite, bite is very, very hard. So he was really, you know, 
just, they taught to bite and hold, not yeah, bite yeah. and bite and bite and bite, bite, but bite and hold. And that's what he was doing. He was just, he actually, so when the guy woke up, he started screaming, he started thrashing, he's still holding on. So, you know, a little bit of damage to the leg because the guy's not obeying the commands. If you quit fighting the dog, yeah. you know, we'll get him off you. And after about a minute, he goes, okay, I give up. And I told him to out and he spit it out and came back to me. And the deputies <laughs> handcuffed done, yeah. him, but it was dark out, so we couldn't really see. And oh. the guy's screaming, my leg, I think my leg's broken. So they took him out by the sea garage. We came out of the woods, and we had paramedics show up, and and, and I kept him in the woods because, but you know, that point is he had his first taste of, you know, a real person. So he was yeah. just, you know, he wanted to go for more. Gosh, well, he he did it. That's awesome. That's but that's... so. But what had happened was he bit. So they had to take the guy to the hospital. Paramedic says we can't fix this here. So they took him really? down to OMC downtown, the emergency room. Somebody, you know, went with the guy in the ambulance, you know, because he was under arrest, and. You know, long story short, his teeth marks imprinted on the guy's leg bone. Still, he bit so hard on the bone. Yeah, they could see oh his like mo gosh. not his canines. I mean, yeah. he didn't. You know, his because he's got a big mouth, so the canines you know went over yeah. the leg. It was his molars that so hard that they you know they were they were taking pictures of this guy's leg bone with the teeth marks on it. Oh yeah, they gosh. thought it was the coolest thing. Well, uh, we we, uh, we really appreciate everything you and Max do here. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on the show. Oh, this no is, problem. Appreciate uh, it. Yeah. Yeah, now, uh, thank you to Charles, uh, Corporal Charles Rising and K-9 Max. Uh, we'll be right back after the break.